next song is one that I wrote in, in Chile and it's, um, it's for a friend of mine. I met her actually in Winchester, which talking of, talking of going diving in and, um, you know, saving buildings, under Winchester Cathedral, a diver actually dived underneath and lifted up the cathedral when it was submerging, like, single-handedly. So <laughs> that's it. maybe you should head to Winchester, they might need some, some of your help there. Um, anyway, yeah, and um, I met her in Winchester and she later moved back to Valparaiso, which is a big port town in, in Chile, sort of, of to, to the west of Santiago. And um, she moved everything in her, in her house that she'd got from, um, she'd got everything from op shops in England. <laughs> so um, and she moved it all in a container back to Valparaiso. And um, <clears throat> so when you go to her house, it's like a, it's just like an op shop from England. Um, but anyway, she's an environmentalist and an environmental activist in, in Chile. And um, the police are pretty strong there with environmental activists. They give everyone a really hard time and um, it's pretty it's pretty hard to like stand up for environmental rights there and stuff. Um, anyway, and she's she's like she's always been a really inspiring woman for me. And um, I wrote this song for her because one night in her house she told me this story where she was walking down by the port and she came across this pelican, and the the pelican was. Um, you know, normally they would, you've got pelicans here, haven't you? But n And normally, would they fly off, like, if you got too close? I don't know, but anyway. Not it, if you've got fish. No, yeah, not, <laughs> not if you've got fish. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, anyway, um, she went up to this pelican, and when she got closer, she, she realised he was like, he wouldn't fly away, and she realised there's something wrong with this, this, this bird. And the pelican, when she looked closer, she saw that he was looking down between the rocks at a... Um, at a dead, another dead pelican. Oh. And so it was, it was in mourning, you know? And, um, and he wouldn't fly away. And, and just like along this path, there were some like young kids that want, want, were sort of throwing some things at the bird before, you know, she, she kind of wanted to protect it a little bit and wanted him to fly away. And she didn't really know how, but she sat with it for, for, eight, for hours and hours. And eventually she realized the bird wasn't gonna understand like, um, you know, that the other bird is dead unless she showed, she ended up reaching down and holding up the bird and saying, look, you know, it's just the body, you've got to, got to move on kind of thing. And um, the other bird seemed, the bird seemed to understand and he flew off after that. And I just thought it was a really beautiful story. So, um, um, yeah, about death and about pelicans. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so this is called Pelican. She sees. 
button buddy up and holding it high in front of his eyes trailing the seaweed in the mud she cast the corpse into the ocean I'll sit by your side 